What's the difference between raster layers and vector layers in Clip Studio Paint? All right, so a raster layer is basically drawing with pixels. To give you an example, I'll just get the pen here and I'll draw a little circle. And I'll go up to the Transform Control T and I'm gonna zoom out and we're gonna drag this really big, make it really huge and hit enter. I'll take a second to render because I'm drawing with pixels it's, and there it goes. And now when we come back in here to a normal size, you can see it's pixely, kind of fades out a little gray. Now if I do the same thing on the raster layer, what this does is it's actually drawing in ones and zeros. And so if I do the same thing and I hit control T and I go really big, really big. In fact, I'll even zoom out to go really big. Hit OK. And when I and see it did it a lot faster. I come in, look how nice and neat that edge is because this is basically computer information telling you what this line is. If I go over here to this vector tool here, control point, it's going to see all these different points here are you can grab and manipulate. You could draw this way. You could draw a little cartoon character or something if I wanted to get like a nose and there's a mouth or something maybe. But what this is doing is let, letting you uh, adjust and edit and not losing line quality. Now, I usually end up using the raster layer rather than that one for drawing. Um, it is, but there are pros and cons either way. In another video, I will talk about some of the benefits and drawbacks of both, but that is the basic difference between the two. Let me know in the comments if this helped and if there is any other Clip Studio Paint tutorials that you are interested in and we'll see you next time.